But me and Le Lexi and I did a bomb ass, a bomb ass photo shoot. I can't wait to see it. And I, I can't wait for y'all to see it. I, I was begging Lexi to drop one of them just today. <laughs> I am. I, I am. Which one you want me to drop? I got you. I got you. I, I, you, um, you Izzy, you know, I, just, you know, clearing shit up because I know you don't want to talk about it, but y'all both know nobody slapped me. Yeah, you didn't get slapped at all. Lexi was very, actually, Lexi looked so bomb yesterday. A, a quick hint was very Cher. Very Cher inspired. She looked amazing. And you all, you look good too yesterday. Wait, wait. Thank you. I think everybody looked good on the right side. It's on, for me, it's on, listen. A bit of the bit of the next week. Good luck, whatever you want to do. In me and wet wet, y'all won't come out. Come out, I'll be back. With yes, you. April 8th, we'll be doing our meet and greet in Oakland, California at Bigfoot Hostel Takeover 3132 International Boulevard, Oakland, California. Then we will be having an after party in Oakland at the Lux. 1100 Franklin Avenue, Oakland, California. Yes, and our special guest will be Mr. Fab. Yes, and also um, Uncle the Hunk. So, yes, it's going to be popping. We're going to be turning the fuck up. So, yeah, come chill. Come have some fun. I got to come to Oakland. I got to come to Oakland. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Never thirsty because mm. I stay where <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> well, wait, that's no, mine. I'm trying to eat. Well, wait, that's mine. Never thirsty because I stay hydrated. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but you gonna I'm... be shaking. But you, <clears throat> but you shaking your balls and shit though. And your dick when you be like, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yo. Oh. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> wait, wait, you had a whole podcast. You funny. You need, your, you need to drop your podcast. <laughs> she is Man, so we got mad questions. Why do wet wet? So, uh, well, but they say, why do wet wet look like that eating? Well, she hungry. She making me hungry, too. Um. Uh, Yes, um, the meet and greet is 18 and over. Yes. $20 to get in. The after party. But the after party is, um, is 50. Um, right? And um, look at my link. It's in my bio. It's on my link right there. Yes. And it's a lot of fake pages out there trying to be mean. But y'all know this is the real me because I am on live, live in the flesh. Okay. So, um, yes. I'm ready to get, like, get paid. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Looking busy, right? You going back home today? Me? Um, yeah, I am. I'm at the airport. Oh, you guys are going back home today, too? No, I leave on. Oh no, you think I'm here to have a, a gig? I leave on Friday. I got um. Oh yeah, I can catch you next year on 105 New York City. How 105 March 28th. Mm. Yes, dang, I can't even like it. Huh? Which is the same day that the Bad Boys Club on the Zoo Network comes out. So get your suspicions to go out to the Bad Boys Club on because I'm excited to see the Bad Boys Club on stage. I'm happy to see a, a boy show. I'm, 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 I'm happy to see you. And hopefully I'll be happy one day to see a 
about dancing that's really about that part. Y'all know, y'all know me and Lexi get Cheers, man. Oh my God. Cheers. Cheers. Well, cheers. cheers. Let me, let me, let me drink my water. Cause yeah, the meet and greet the party is the same day. Yep, it's the same day. The meet is meet and greet is from six to um eight. The after party at the Lux is from ten to two. Yes. So check the post if you're trying to get a bottle, a table. It's on the post. Cheers. Smoking out the window. If I wasn't at the airport, I'd be doing the same goddamn thing. But hey, I'm trying to be on my best behavior. Because I ain't got time for that bullshit. I'm just trying to get home. That part. I can't flash on his shit. I ain't about to get him blocked. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, me, um, yeah, they want me to flash Lexi, there. Lexi and me are uh, with Libra. What's your What's your sign, Miss Wewe? Virgo, baby. But you know, Miss Wewe, that I I don't even know your real name. From day one, it was Miss Wewe. I was like, I don't even know her real name. Well, my real name is Latasha. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's. Thank you so much. I'll take this stuff out. You don't have to worry about it. Hey, yeah. Latasha. I, I like that. My character was always calling her Latasha. She was like, I'm yeah. Calling Tasha, her. put your boobs up. Like, girl, no. I want to have my boobs out. Please let me have my Paris and London. I mean, they own them a spot. They need a fucking star on Hollywood Boulevard. That's Period. A, that's that's uh, Miss Wet Weather. They need a star. Yes, because they show fake. They was fighting bitches too. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? And they love the attention. When it was Women Crush Wednesday, they was like Paris in London. So, hey. Okay, ooh, I'm tired of hearing Can I get a check, Chanel please? Shit. Nobody yeah. snitched yeah. on her. Fuck. <laughs> oh, what are we talking about now? Listen, all I know is that once the once the once the final show airs and everything airs, I, I will go and I will speak my part on all of that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna fuck up my bag. Period. And that's that coin. Hurt. That's what people don't understand. You gotta really, you know, use your mind. Not like you can't be in your feelings, you gotta be in your bag. Because being in your feelings, you will miss out on that bag. Just like when you and your feelings in a relationship and, you, and then you break up and you be broken, the same way your bag will be broken. Mm-hmm. No shiki. Oh, they're probably born in. I to hurry my ass up. Look at this. I am so, like... I got a few pairs in London. They hungry, too. Okay. Mm. But, um... What are you doing tomorrow, Lexi? Um, I got um a couple of things going. On. Uh, when uh-huh. I get, when I get all the information, I'm gonna start posting it. So. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. First of all, shout out to all 1,500 of you. That's popping. What's good? The lives have been on. That people want to find out shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they sure have. They sure um, have. All right, y'all. I gotta answer this phone call. Oh, All right, yeah, do your thing. All right, Miss Wet Wet. All right, what you about to do? I'm about to drop this luggage off, take a shower, and go to my cousin's house. Okay, well, I'm about to finish feeding my face. And go tell him. I'm gonna go tell my cousin all the drama. You know what I'm saying? That's true, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, I'm about to finish my food and catch this flight. Not feeling. Okay. You have a good day, and um, I'll holler at you. Bye, y'all. Right. Peace. Um, damn. Oh, my God, I have so many kids. Let me see. Let me. Again, if I accept you to be on the live, please don't ask no questions. About the camera. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> well, I 
I mean, wet, wet off of here now, but I just was curious to know if she felt a particular way about Amber situation because I just feel like even though it's only five episodes in, I just felt like Amber was hella on wet, wet just from the jump. And I just wanted to see how she felt about Amber getting her ass beat because I'm just really shocked that Amber, she, I mean, just from a viewer perspective, she was on tick since day one. So I'm just, I just was curious, like how wet, wet felt about her getting her ass beat. Was it like a, you know, you deserve the shit or was, or did she have a little bit of mercy on her? But she ain't here to answer. She ain't here. And at me, I'm not, I'm not going to answer no questions about Right, right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I respect it, but yeah, that's but, all I yeah. wanted to know is like how she felt about it. But she ain't even here. <clears throat> she ain't here. But um, we, we'll get on the live so that we can, you know, pretty sure can Yeah, y'all should bring some people up so they can ask like certain kind of questions and shit. Because we still got so many more episodes to go. So right, I think there's like I got two or three more episodes to go. Okay, well, I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna be watching, but I just tell what what I want to know how she feel. Do she feel like that was her revenge? Because Amber was definitely on her dick really hard, even though wet wet is extra. You know, she was being herself, and so you gotta respect a motherfucker who's gonna be themselves. So that Hopefully part, wet I, wet I, I did. Well, again, tune in the twentieth. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I watched Bad Boy Club, no shade. Oh, I'm already, I'm already watching the trailer like 50 million times. I can't even wait to see. Ooh. All, All right, right. Then I'm signing this off. This. You. Okay, bye. So I'm dead. That's on me. Damn, there's so many of y'all that want to go live. Um. Let me see. Let me look at some questions real quick. I wanted to know how you get into network. Well, I've been I've been doing makeup for how long? Damn, that's so crazy. I've been doing makeup for ten years now, almost eleven. Sorry, I'm just trying to walk in and rush. You don't see that pool back there? It's gone. Damn, there's so many questions. Let me see, let me see. As long as they not, um, whose side are you on? <laughs> oh, the pool's clean. Looks good. Uh, speak on the reunion. I can't speak on the. I can't speak on the reunion. Um, the one thing I would say is to take yourself to the next level, you have to just work down hard. Like a lot of like, like, let's say some people don't know that I've done fancy campaigns in London and in Paris. I've done major fashion shows. I've done a lot of stuff, you know, and my most amazing accomplishment is moving to LA. I moved to LA in April. I make a year next month, which I'm proud of. And shit just has been really, really good. You just have to stay on your guard and stay on your focus and network your ass off. And as much as it's as crazy as it was sound is, be very political. You 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 never want to be a dictator when it comes to your career. You always want to be political, and you always want to be neutral. You never want to pick a side when it comes to clients and and your bag and your work. You you know. So many things that I want to Whose side am I on? I'm on the side of fairness. I'm on the side of somebody wants to fight one on one, then fight one on one. But jumping people and stuff, it, it ain't it ain't the thing. And and that's true. All money ain't good money. I mean, and, and mind you, there's people that, um, hey, honey, there's people that, fuck, I forgot my, my, shit, thought. 
For real, I'm ready to just see, you know, Bad Boy Club and yeah. Who me? Oh, I'm, I'm, I was born and raised in the Bronx, New York City. A long way from. Hey, Marky, what's going on? Well, the app was being thrown at. This is the thing that I was saying the other day. When we filmed that scene, that that scene was like an hour long. Like. There was a lot that was not shown because you guys only saw like five minutes of an hour. And those five minutes were cut down even more to send clips were cut out. I'm supposed to be going to Texas next month. What's up, Smokey? I, I I edited one of those pictures. I'm gonna send you the rest of them. What's up, Trip? Thank you. I haven't been to London like in a year. No, I'm gonna bring your cousin to. And and that's the thing. I I don't deal with none of that drama. I stay out, out of all of it. <clears throat> but because I do work with different clients, I'm I would never be the type of person to talk bad on a client. I'm not going to give that. I was never on the show. So, you know, the girls are able to express their opinions and express what they went through and express what they were going through. But me personally, I work with the network. I'm under contract. I know what I can say and not say, but I cannot discuss anything that has to do with the reunion. Do I have my opinion? Hell yeah. Do I have a side? Hell yeah. Um, that's what I would say. The bitch word. You know what it is? Hey, Jean. You know what it is? I'm. Huh? Oh, I just got here now. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't, I will never talk bad about a client. I will never talk bad about somebody that I worked with, even though I do have my own opinions. I know how to, um, even though I do have my own opinions, I'm not going to sit here and fumble any bags or any potential bags talking bad about a, a past client. A lot of people are like, why did I let him talk to me like that? You, you guys do understand that as a gay guy, as a man, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disrespect a female and come out of, and come out of and come crazy talking to a female crazy. I'm not gonna do that. Whatever substances people do to do what they gotta do, that's all done. You know? All I can say from my experience is that Jocelyn never treated me bad. She never spoke to me bad. I've been a fan. I will always continue to be a fan. All this stuff with the reality TV, I don't involve myself in it. Um, even though it may look that I was involved in it, I'm not gonna involve myself in it. You know what I'm saying? All I did was defend myself in a situation where I was lied on. 
and then it was portrayed that I almost like snitch on somebody when I know that that was not the case. So as long as I live, as long as I know that within me, I was, hey, I'm sorry, I'm on the phone. Okay. Um. That's my thing. It's it's hard sometimes to be a, a a man, and then it's even harder sometimes to be a gay man, and you're disrespected by a female, and then you cannot fully express how you what you want to say because at the same time you are it's it's a female, so what you do is you just ignore it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I could be a faggot from New York City, and I could go off and I could curse somebody out, but why would I do that when I'm work when I'm you know professional when it comes to my career? I'm not going to sit here and fumble any bags to entertain somebody's whatever you want to call that. Do I want to, somebody said, do I want to be on TV? To be honest, I, I, I would want to be on TV, but the way I would want to be on TV would be like in a show like Euphoria or on a Netflix special. <clears throat> a lot of people think that I'm funny, so I wouldn't mind even trying stand-up comedy. You know? But to for me, I would never I would never talk bad about a client, no matter what the situations are around it. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I learned early in the game when I started doing makeup. Sometimes you're gonna work with clients. Sometimes shit's going to go good. Sometimes shit's going to go bad. But, you know, when you keep yourself at a professional level, you never want to talk bad about a client because then what is the next client going to think of you, you know? What's up, DJ Skittles? And, you know, that the drama that happened amongst the girls, that's their drama. That's their drama. Um, you know, again, I work with the network, so I can't really fully pick a side. I need to pick the side of the people that pay me my back. There's no shame. The girls, the girls that know that I respect them, they know who they are. You know, and yeah. How am I staying busy working? I'm like, I'm like, a, living in LA now, I'm like, a, I'm like a, a little kid in a new playground, but the playground is more dangerous, you know? Ah, a reptile, a lizard, one of, one of those things. But, um, yeah. Kev, I'm gonna bring you on, but don't go crazy. <clears throat> What's up, little mama? <laughs> why, why, What's up, why, is shit, why is shit so messy? Um. <clears throat> Well, she's messy, you know. Messy well, listen, messy. I'm gonna say what I gotta say now that I now that I was accepted. <laughs> ah, on TV, because there's blogs here and they're gonna record it, so I don't want. I'm when I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. oh, but it ain't nothing bad. I'm just I'm gonna say how I feel. I feel like at the end of the day, and this is like this may sound like bad, but it doesn't sound bad because I was rooting for Amber and I love the fact that she beat Diamond's ass. But I also will say that you know at the end of the day you. You got what you was wishing for. She tried you and she shouldn't have tried you. Talking about she gonna get her brother beat you up, girl. Yeah, but the the thing with that is that, like I said earlier, it was an hour, it was an hour film of, well, that, that morning, it was like an hour of filming. So when shit went down, shit went down. But right after that, we spoke and, you know, everybody's gonna say what they say. The first thing a girl's gonna do is, I'm gonna get my brother to beat your Absolutely. ass. Absolutely. Like, that's, that's the first thing a girl is gonna say. But I don't take none. Of, I don't take none of that shit personal. We spoke, you know. We apologized, 
And that's said, and that's something that wasn't. Shown. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think I was the one that amped her up to fight Jocelyn because I told her that she was pussy for not hitting hitting Jocelyn when Jocelyn saw her get your dick beaters off of me. No shade. What do you say? I love you. Say, ah, but, uh, let me tell you something. If there's something that I hate, it's little animals, like critters. And there's a lot of them over here. <laughs> I love Loso. Just... Carlos, we love you. We love, we love, we love. We love a Carlos makeup artist. <laughs> Somebody said women always start shit with gay men and want to call someone to fight like gay men can't fight. Somebody said, get this shit off. A girl's in the hospital because a man ambushed her. <clears throat> it's okay. Well, I was with Amber and all of them yesterday at the hospital, so I know what happened. But again, I can't, I'm not speaking on it. I I do have a side, and I picked my side, but I'm not going to... Wait, 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 wait. Which one was your side? I didn't get to hear that one. I said the girls who know, the girls know who, who side I'm on. That's the thing about reality and then fake reality TV. Re in reality, they know the real. That's it. That's all I would say. I don't think Amber deserved that, but at the same time, Amber be running her mouth too much and she don't know how to do shit for no, to one pipe thing the fuck is, down. She did not she did not deserve to get hit by a man. That's one thing that She didn't deserve she didn't deserve to get hit by a man. We can all agree on that. Anyway, I don't want I'm gonna be hundred percent real. She didn't deserve to get hit by a man. I have six sisters. She didn't deserve to get hit by a man. Trust me. I, I'm not. I'm not siding with that. But what I will say is, she does run her mouth too much. You know, it's, it's like I said, like like all that going on the, going on the internet looking for validation about a man <clears throat> putting their hands on you. It's like, girl, you the one that signed the contract. Me. You signed the contract. You went on the show. You did what you did. Okay. Deal with it like a street bitch. She says she's a street bitch from Chicago. Get your niggas and resolve it. Street resolve this shit. Why are you calling lawyers now? You want to be pussy? I didn't like that. Like I said, Thank we're you. gonna keep we're gonna keep that off of here because I do I do work with the network and I love how the network treats me and I am under contract with the network. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna just say I'm gonna just be real. Loso, you've known me for years. <clears throat> I know. I'm a I'm a hood ass punk. I'm not taking no shit to the police. I know, but you know, some people handle things differently. It ain't gonna get no more free than this. Some people handle things differently, and that's how they want to handle it. That's how they handle it. But on again, that I, note, from the beginning, since I came on live, the first thing I said was, "I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna talk about nothing about the you reunion." You don't have to because at the end of the day, those and are your I people. Don't the reunion means talking about girls, talking about the situation, talking about their situation. I'm not going to involve myself in none of that. You don't have to. You're that girl. Well, you said, well, I'm, I'm a hood ass bitch. <laughs> well, what's next for you? But since all this shit came into a whole, like, what are you doing next? What I'm doing since next? Since everything, everything, everything just went out. downhill over there. You find out. We have another show coming out. We have another show that we're going to film. That's all that I can say. <laughs> Okay, we want to see what's exciting for Carlos. I got a do rag line coming out. My beanies are coming out again. Well, bitch, I'm gonna eat my food. They ain't kicking me off the stage, ho. All right. Well, let me let me take some of these other people and ask some questions. Take me off, ASAP. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you.